From their triplet flow to their ad libs, Migos' music has a huge influence on the entire genre of hip hop. Even though one of their members passed away recently, it doesn't change the fact that the band lived the luxurious life we all want. Hey guys and welcome back to The Opulence. For this video, we are going to take a look at the lavish lifestyle of the supergroup Migos, their rise and untimely death. But before we begin with today's topic, make sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and turn on the notifications so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. I love the chase and the hunt and I set the pace when I'm running. I always take what I want and I always give it 100. Don't need a bank, no, I'm funded. Play the game like it's nothing. I'm always thankful for something. Don't take for granted, stay humble. Now we Migos has released four studio albums and 47 singles since forming as a trio. The band's debut album, Young Rich Nation, was released in 2015 and peaked at number three on the Top Rap Albums chart. The trio sold 15,000 copies in the first week of release. Culture, their second album, was released in 2017, followed by Culture 2 in 2018 and Culture 3 in 2021. But how do they live their lives? Let us begin with Quavo. Quavius Quiete Marshall, better known as Quavo, began his musical career in 2008 when he formed the rap group Polo Club with his cousin, Offset, and nephew, Takeoff. While the group initially gained popularity through mixtapes, their debut album, Young Rich Nation, released in 2015, catapulted them to mainstream fame. Quavo, in addition to being a member of his successful group, has had a successful solo career, collaborating with artists such as Liam Payne, Justin Bieber, Drake, and Madonna. Over the years, his music collaborations and brand endorsements have netted him a multi-million dollar fortune. Probably his most notable act of absurdly rich lifestyle is the icy Bentley he gifted ex Sawidi for $279,000. Quavo and Sawidi were a hot couple for a while, until cheating rumors blew up and the couple decided to call it quits. Then there's also Offset. Offset has done a lot of crazy luxurious things in his life. Probably the most notable one is his $2 million check for Cardi as a gift. Rapper Offset received a huge surprise at his 30th birthday party last year when his wife Cardi B presented him with a huge check. The rapper was taken aback when she announced that she was giving him $2 million to invest in his future business ventures. Offset wasn't the only one who walked away with money that night, as Cardi B announced that they would be giving away $100,000 to partygoers. Cardi appears to be constantly spoiled by Offset. The Valentine's Day, the Bodak Yellow singer shared several videos of herself opening a variety of gifts from her husband, which ended up being six different Chanel bags. Cardi unwrapped a red and black patterned bag covered in sequins, which Offset claimed he bought in Dubai. The mother of two also opened a light yellow Chanel bag before moving on to a smaller bag in a powder blue. Cardi said this bag best matched her current outfit after saying her husband's elaborate gifts were like a scavenger hunt. Lastly, there's Takeoff. Takeoff's net worth included the money he made with Migos and his family members, Quavo and Offset. Before his untimely death at the age of 28, the profits were split equally among the three. According to Celebrity Net Worth, Takeoff has a net worth of $26 million. According to the site, Quavo and Offset have the same net worth of $26 million, implying that the three members split their income equally. Migos, on the other hand, has an estimated net worth of $80 million. Takeoff's net worth was largely derived from his work with Migos, which he was a member of from 2008 until his death in 2022. Takeoff released one solo album, The Last Rocket, in November 2018, while still a member of Migos. The album was the second solo album from a Migos member following Quavo's debut solo album, Quavo Huncho, released a month earlier in October 2018. Last Memory Takeoff's lead single from The Last Rocket peaked at number 54 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. As a non-album project, he released his first solo song, Intruder, in 2017. Takeoff was also featured on the song Eye to Eye from Quavo and Travis Scott's 2017 album, Huncho Jack, Jack Huncho, prior to his death. He also appeared on Calvin Harris's song Holiday, which also included Snoop Dogg and John Legend, from Harris's fifth studio album, Funk Wave Bounces Volume 1, released in 2017. In an interview with Complex in October 2022, weeks before his death, Takeoff explained that the success of Migos is because he, Quavo, and Offset are family. Takeoff said, It's kind of hard to go find two people that's family too, like Unk and Few. 
they are usually going to try and put people together, and it doesn't work like that because they don't fit, Quavo added. With us, it was really family that kept us strong. Sometimes you don't have strong artists, and it's hard for all three artists to be superstars in a group. And then with time, some of that sh falls off and there's only one superstar, and then they're gone. Quavo also told Complex about how Takeoff is Migos' secret weapon for their music. He said, On a lot of the Migos records, Takeoff would anchor the song. Now, on a lot of these records, he comes in and is popping off. We're setting up alley oops like Trey Young and John Collins. Quavo also explained his and Takeoff's respective roles when recording music. He said, Just the different hunger we have right now, being in a state where we can be comfortable. Takeoff and I understand that this is a mission that we have to complete. And then us coming together and meshing our abilities, me melodically, and taking aggressively with bars. We did that a lot on this album, where I'm on the hook and Take comes in first, Takeoff added. Like he said, I'm doing some melodic stuff. Even Quavo, he usually does the melodic things and I rap more. But we're going back to the roots. How did Takeoff perish? Takeoff, real name, Kersnick Karee Ball, was shot dead outside the front door of 810 Billiards and Bowling in Houston, Texas in the early morning of November 1st, 2022. He was 28 years old at the time. According to TMZ, Takeoff and his bandmate and uncle Quavo were playing dice at the bowling alley when a fight broke out and someone opened fire, shooting Takeoff in the head, or near the head. He was declared dead at the scene. During a press conference at the time, the Houston Police Department also stated that two other people were shot at the party and were taken to a local hospital in private vehicles with non-life-threatening injuries. They were 23 and 24 years old, respectively. Both of them are going to be fine, Quavo said. Houston Police Chief Troy Finner said at the press conference, this morning at 2.34 a.m., officers received a call of a shooting in progress. Officers arrived there shortly thereafter, a downtown location, billiards and bowling alley. They came upon a male who was deceased. That male has been identified as Kirschnick Ball, better known as Takeoff. He's a member of the Migos rap group out of Atlanta, he continued. I got many calls from Houston and outside of Houston, and everyone spoke of what a great young man this is, how peaceful he is, what a great artist. TMZ obtained audio of a 911 call to which emergency dispatchers discussed the incident, reporting that five shots were fired and that the caller heard gunshots and people screaming. Chief Finner also took a moment to comment on the hip-hop community, explaining that the community gets a bad name because of the number of rappers who have been killed in recent years. He said, I know a lot of great people in our hip-hop community and I respect them. I'm calling up everybody, all hip-hop artists. In Houston and around the nation, we've got to police ourselves. We all need to stand together and make sure that nobody tears down that industry. That's it for today. If you guys enjoyed the video, make sure to hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you never miss out on any future content we'll produce for you guys. We're signing off now, but we'll be sure to catch you all in the next one.